You... You don't think it's over. Gul'dan... and the devils that command him... are not so easily banished. I fear this is only beginning. If you ever need us, we will be here. <laughs> Until we meet again. Andranor, old rivals sought to bring Azeroth to its knees. And while the Iron Tide was quelled, they were but servants of a more ancient foe that has not forgotten our defiance. The vengeance of the Burning Shadow has come. No! Lord Illidan has fallen! Illidari! Avenge the Master! You bear the mark of his corruption. And so the demon's blood within you will be your prison! Take them to the vault. There they shall be with the betrayer forever. Stand once more upon the brink of destruction. The Burning Legion has returned. As before, it seeks to annihilate everything that we hold dear. I go to face it, knowing I may not return. They're coming! They're coming back! With 
Circle Horde will be overrun! We must retreat! Get everyone to the gunship! Everyone! Fall back! Take this to my son. This compass crafted for my father's birthday. I gave it to him a few months before my ship ran aground on Pandaria. A lifetime ago. Since this war with the Legion began, I've barely had a chance to think, or breathe, or to mourn. Perhaps it's time to change that. Thank you for bringing my father's compass back to me. It is a reminder of how much I miss him. claims us all, but the Horde will live on. I have never trusted you, nor would I have ever imagined in our darkest time that you would be the one to save us. The spirits have granted me clarity, a vision. For a name, many will not understand, but you must step out of the shadows and lead. You must be one.
Vol'jin is dead. Who among you will help me avenge him? a waste. That arrow's poison was not meant to be wasted on your whelp. We'll meet again, Greymane. Anna, we did it, Father. We took back our city. We took back... Sylvanas. Your quest for immortality has left you vulnerable. My vengeance! For Marion! For Gilneas! For my son! Ignores every plea to return to the palace. Nothing I say seems to offer comfort. I understand the need to mourn, but the king's place is on his throne. The Broken Shore must be our focus. Convince Anduin to end his vigil. I'll need a disguise to move through the city without attracting attention. I think I know just the spell. Follow me. Stormwind has always been my home. I know its shops and streets as I do the back of my hand. Yet, even as I walk these familiar steps, I've never felt more lost. They're right to be afraid. If we fail to stop the Legion on the Broken Shore, the demons will strike us here, at our home and hearth. I can't blame the lad for his choice. My father sacrificed everything to save his people. He was a great king. I have not returned to Lion's Rest since my father's memorial was moved here from the Keep. The war has consumed all of my energy and attention. I have not had a moment to grieve. Since you brought my father's compass back to me, I've prayed to the Light for guidance, and to know his spirit is at rest. The Light doesn't answer. My people like me, respect me, but they don't believe in me. Not like they believed in him. I've heard the voice of the people, but how do my father's advisors feel? I fear they do not trust me as they did my father. It seems Gen and Velen are speaking about me, but I can't quite make out the words. The young king will become a great leader. I have foreseen it. Visions don't win wars, prophet. The boy has a good heart, but he's untested. The light is strong with Anduin. He will grow into his crown. We must have faith. We need more than that, and so does he. Anduin wasn't there on the Broken Shore. He hasn't seen the sacrifice his soldiers made that they continue to make. A king must know the weight of the orders he gives, the price of them. 
If a compass breaks his spirit, how will he respond when the war arrives on our doorstep? Thank you, my friend. I know what I must do to learn the weight of my father's crown. I must go to the Broken Shore and see for myself the sacrifice he made. Let's go. My father sought to shield me from the war, insisting I stay behind because a Rin must always rule in Stormwind. But I saw the truth in his eyes, his fear of losing me. When my mother died, I was all he had left of her. Time and time again, I have watched from afar as the heroes of Stormwind fought and died to preserve peace on Azeroth. My father was not the first king of Stormwind to die fighting the Burning Legion. My great-grandfather, King Barathan, and my grandfather, King Lane, also paid the ultimate sacrifice. The kings of my family have always fought shoulder to shield with their soldiers for the freedom of Stormwind. Come, let us press forward. I have lived my life sheltered by the blood of heroes like Tyrion and Bolvar. Heroes like my father. The time has come for me to do the same. Take me to the place where my father died. I must see it for myself. Here. This is where his father fell. The boy has never known the horrors of the Legion as we have. No. I haven't. And when? How could you just leave? I had to come here. My boy, you don't need to see this. never surrendered. Even here, at the very end. I cannot do this, Father. I can't be the hero you were. I can't be the king you were. Anduin, your father's actions were indeed heroic. They were his challenge to us, his people, to never let fear prevail, even at the very gates of hell. King must do. Like many of you, I know firsthand the pain of loss. My father, King Varian Rin, gave his life to save his people. He knew that no one, not even a king, is more important than the Alliance. And because he and so many others had the courage to make that sacrifice, we did the impossible. For the Alliance! By the power they offered, our queen 
betrayed us to the ruin of the world.